Howdy folks! Welcome back to another edition of How It Works. Today we're going to look at fuel gauges, or gas gauges. In your car, you no doubt have a gauge that tells you how much gas you have. Have you ever wondered how they work? The principle is really simple. Let's say you've got a gas tank here, and you have some level of gas in it. So in the tank, we have some sort of a tube that comes out. And this lets your car pull fuel out. Usually has some sort of a strainer on here. Helps keep some of the big chunks in the gas tank and not get sucked up into the car. So what we can do to test the level of this is all we do is we put something in here that floats. And then we hook up to that a rheostat, which is a variable resistor. Won't get into the theory on how it works, but you just hook an arm to it. And so then there's a wire that comes out of this. It goes over to your gas gauge and then continues on in some way to the battery. Typically, there is also some other wire that comes either from the sending unit, if you have like a plastic gas tank. If you have a metal gas tank, it might be just this frame itself is hooked to the, the chassis of the car, which then routes eventually over to the negative post. So what we have is this rheostat changes resistance as this arm moves up and down. So maybe when it's really high up, we might have, say, 10 ohms of resistance. And when our gas is really low, the float's down here, up to the arm, and now we have, say, 75 ohms of resistance. So your gas gauge over here is going to show empty. So really all that's happening is this gauge is effectively an ohm meter that is reading a range from the high to the low, and it's usually just a linear relationship. So at 10, it's full. At 75, it's empty. So at about somewhere around 40, you're going to be at the halfway mark. That's all it is. It's just a very simple ohm meter that's reading the resistance across this rheostat. Let's take a look at an actual fuel pickup and sending unit from inside of a gas tank. And here we have a fuel pickup. You can see on this end, we've got a connection for the wire that goes to the gas gauge. The outlet for the fuel, it goes into a metal tank, so this is grounded through the tank to the chassis. We've got our wire that comes down to this rheostat. We have our fuel pickup here with a little screen, a little sock on it. And then we have a float that moves up and down. Quite simple. You can see that because it travels rather than in a straight line down, it travels in this curve. What happens is, when we're up here and the fuel starts dropping, it moves fairly slowly, and then as you get closer to half a tank, it's going to move faster. So you probably see that in your gauge. If you've ever noticed when it's full, it goes from full to, you know, an eighth of a tank down very, very slowly. But then once you get past that, you know, I'm seven-eighths full or three-quarters full, start getting down, it goes a lot faster. And that's why you can see, actually, if this is the top of the tank, we have fuel all the way up to here. It's going to drop all the way down to here before the gas gauge starts uh, showing any change at all. So that uh, explains why. It's a little easier to see it this way, but this one sits in the vehicle from above. We've got some that go in from the front of the tank. We've seen uh, lots of different configurations, but they all work in basically the same way. You've got 
a float that goes to some sort of a variable resistor, and then the pickup with the a little screen that keeps all of the large chunks in the gas tank rather than up in your fuel system. Thanks for watching.